All right, now we're gonna show how to actually upgrade to the new Radeon RX 7900 XT or XTX if you have one of those. Um, so if you have your computer like this, you have the old one. Uh, one thing I will notice by me being able to get the XT as opposed to the XTX, I was able to spend the extra money to a two terabyte NVMe drive for extra game storage. So um, that kind of shows the value of spending less on the graphics card and allocating the rest of the funds to uh, other parts of the build. So we're gonna go ahead and install this um, underneath since we are gonna take out the graphics, the old graphics card to swap in the new one. Um, so we're gonna be installing this 7900XT into this system here that I have featured previously on the 13th gen build. Um, so we're gonna take those two out and the cool thing is I get to keep my same 1200 watt power supply. I don't need any fancy power cable. So we're going to go ahead and undo this. All right, to install the M.2 drive, I will have to take out all of these capture cards. And on the Gigabyte Aorus Master, the middle one is an X1, and the bottom one is an X4. So you guys can see I've got a Live Gamer 4K on the bottom, and then I have a Live Gamer 2 on the top. So we're going to set those off to the side. And then for the graphics card, you guys can't really see it, but there's a quick disconnect button that you just press on, and then there you go. And there is the 6950 XT. So I kind of think this one, I kind of like the older design. I like how the fans look on the older one as opposed to the newer one. The fact that the logo also lights up, whereas this one doesn't, is a little disappointing for the next generation card. Um, so, that is a strange choice to not let that illuminate. Cool thing about this heat sink is these are captive screws. So you don't have to worry about them falling out or getting lost. So we're gonna go ahead and install. Um, it shouldn't really matter, all of these are Gen 4 capable. I'm just installing a, a cheap Gen 3 SSD, but it's a two terabyte. So we're gonna go ahead and probably put it, I guess I'll go ahead and put it over here. So you gotta peel off the, um, the plastic on the thermal pad stuff. So peel that off and then you also gotta peel the one that corresponds to it on the top side. All right, so let me get this M.2 out. Just grab that out there. Ooh, this one's unique. This one's got like flash on both sides. So but anyway, I really like this motherboard because you can just basically, you just put that in there Get that in, and then, bam, just clicks right in. That's really nice. All right, let me just gotta put this heat sink back on. So just line it up. So we wanna make sure when you line it up, you just make sure that this is down, and it's only a two slot in terms of the brackets. So just kind of line it up. And it just kind of all falls into place. I hear that click, so it clicks in. We just gotta put the screws in and we're good. All right, once you get everything in, then the last thing you gotta do, obviously, plug in the power cables. So you just line those up, they click in. And then we're good to go. Now we just gotta put everything back together and uh, gotta put everything back together and turn it on and make sure that everything is working working fine. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so we turn the computer on. I just wanna open this up, show people it just posted. You can see, the only thing, I really wish this graphics card, you can see there's the Radeon logo, it's so dark you can't see it. 
that really needs to illuminate this. I'll just make this product feel a lot better, especially considering the price point. So that is very disappointing because the previous six, even the 6800, you know, the logo lit up. So that's real disappointing to see that. Um, but overall, so far it's smooth sailing from here. I did also want to show on the back uh, if you want to run the mon multi monitor, you guys can see I've got two display ports, and in the middle there, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but there's my USB C to display port, so it's USB C off the graphics card, and that's going to one of my monitors via display port. Okay, once you're into Windows, once you boot up, it will show up with a default driver from Windows because this is a brand new graphics card on launch day. Um, so you want to go to AMD.com and then you will want to download. You go to uh, Downloads at the support page and then you'll go to download this. Adrenaline 22.12.1. Now depending on when you watch this video, um, you might be seeing a different version of the driver. Um, but it might be a newer one. But this is launch day so we're downloading the public release initial driver so it is the December driver of 2022 because it's 22.12.1 so it's the first driver for December um, of 2022 so once you have this installed uh, you should be smooth sailing from there uh, it, it, it should have just one monitor up and the other two should be dark so like that okay so what, now we've rebooted after installing the drivers so we're now on the desktop you can see I have all three of my monitors are lit up. Uh, one thing you want to check is the you want your main monitor to be number one when you're on AMD. NVIDIA it's always going to be backwards. So uh, one, you, you're just going to have to play around with the ones on the back. Um, the way it's mapped out is so in the order of the monitors, if you're looking at it from the top down, trying to connect the cables, it's HDMI. Uh, well, actually, no, it's, it's HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-C, DisplayPort. So you want the DisplayPort that is between the USB-C and the HDMI, which we're not using here, to be the primary monitor. So that would be your middle monitor if you're running a triple monitor setup. So hopefully that just kind of uh, clears things up. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show, just briefly, you want to make sure. So we're at 4K, 100% scaling on a 27 inch monitor and then the other monitors are 1440p 100% scaling uh, and then the only other thing I want to do is I want to go to advanced display settings and I want to make sure if you have a 10 bit display make sure it's 10 bit so it's 10 bit full RGB range 144 Hertz and the other monitors these are only the other two are only 10 8 bit monitors then there's a 144 as well so everything looks like it checks out so we should be good from here uh, if we open GPU-Z, GPU-Z might not recognize this card. Um, so there we go. So let's move this out of the way. So yeah, I'm going to have to download a newer... Well, actually it's showing up. GPU-Z does recognize that it's a 7900 XT, Navi 31, AMD ATI. It's a Wickle driver. You can see down there. Resizable bar is enabled, so I think we're good. And then over here, ready on settings. We did download the latest driver, so there's the ready on settings um, with all the the info there. So notification, everything, hardware details. So there we go, 69 or 7900 XT. So it looks like we're good. You can see the info in ready on settings there. So that's basically it. Now we're gonna we're smooth sailing from here. Um, be ready to see more content on this graphics card in the near future. And if I can get my hands on the XTX, stay tuned for that as well. And as always, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.